I got a lot of influence from the free jazz music and it also noise, kind of noisy music. So for me, it's really merge inside me. So it's uh, sometimes, it's of course different, but in my, in my side, it's, it's kind of chaos mixture together. I'm really interested in thinking about the noise, not, not noise music, just the philosophical meaning of noise. Uh, so, if it's a Schubert record, it could be noise music. If you really don't want to listen to this record, it's, for you it's noise. So, this kind of uh, way of thinking, I, I'm always thinking about it. What is noise or what? Yeah, what is the sound? Masayuki Takayanagi, that's my most influential person. Not only underground music, pop music also. 60s Japanese pop music is my most influential music. <laughs> Most favorite uh, composer is uh, Takeo Yamashita. It's not really unfamous outside of Japan, but he made a lot of uh, TV soundtrack. So, some of them not really interesting, but some of them really, really unbelievably interesting. Yeah, Takeo Yamashita. Also composer Toru Takemitsu, of course. But yeah, Takeo Yamashita is one of my yeah, favorite from the 60s pop music, yeah. really professional musician. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never broken uh, the, someone's timetable. It looks like a dangerous, but no, nothing. Really care. <laughs> yeah, true, that's true. <laughs> if I really want to destroy, maybe I, I bring my by myself. It's a rented. So up in Fukushima in my teens, between nine years old to 18, 19 years old. And uh, my parents still live in, my parents still live in Fukushima. So that's my hometown. So also without thinking, I just went there after the big earthquake 
and the uh, nuclear power disaster. And uh, yeah, the eight, eight, nine years ago, just the beginning of the disaster, that was really big shock and a lot of problem happening. But now, uh, my hometown is Fukushima City. It's a little bit far from nuclear reactor. So around the nuclear reactor area, it's really difficult. But the Fukushima city is really getting better. And the last few years, uh, there are no radiation from the food. That was really, really very happy news and big news for us. But usually TV news just say bad things. So no one knows the good news. But anyway, the last few years really getting better. I'm still doing a festival in Fukushima and uh, yeah, already eight years now, eight, nine years now and uh, oh, that was a uh, hard work. Every summer I do something direction or direction, also play music, uh, a lot of things. And anyway, uh, I, I did already too much. So after I finished this summer festival, I just said, uh, I quit the director and give it to the, for the young people. Beginning was of course analog age, no digital things. So I still love to work with analog recordings or analog uh, this kind of stuff, tape recorder. But that's also very expensive now. It's not easy to keep it. And uh, digital technology, on the other hand, I, sometimes I really like digital technology because I really quick. The cut-up is more quicker than analog record. So anyway, I have to live with this. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It may be pity, but uh, I need it. <laughs> I was really young. I, I really interested in the very, very early techno music, like a craft work or something. Machine, sound. It was, yeah, when I was maybe 15, 16 years old, I really feel completely different from the human sound and the machine sound. Now it's quite merged together. <laughs> For the young musician, just do it. I don't care. 
<laughs> Sorry about that.